Today we are discussing medical surgical nursing subject first year PBBSC topic is conjunctivitis. Introduction The conjunctiva is a thin memory that covers the inner surface of the eyelid and the white part of the eyeball that is clear. Conjunctivitis is commonly known as red or pink eye. This is the healthy eye. This is the conjunctivitis that is the sclera is in red color. Definition Infection and inflammation of the eye. Incidence About 1% of all primary care office visits in the United States are related to conjunctivitis affecting about 6 million people annually. The incidence of viral conjunctivitis is approximately 80,000 per 1 lakh cases with acute conjunctivitis. Viral conjunctivitis more commonly affects adults, while bacterial conjunctivitis more commonly affects adults. Types and causes Infectious It is divided into bacterial conjunctivitis, viral conjunctivitis. Bacterial conjunctivitis is caused due to Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pneumonia, Haemophilus influenza. Viral conjunctivitis is caused due to adenovirus. Allergic conjunctivitis, it occurs due to seasonal pollen, perfume and smoke. Chemical conjunctivitis, it occurs due to exposure to chlorine in foods, air pollution, exposure to other chemicals. These are the types and causes of conjunctivitis. What are they? Infectious, that is bacterial, viral, allergic, chemical. Risk factors. Exposure to something for which the person is allergic. If they are allergic to pollen, if they are allergic to the smoke, there is a chances to get. Exposure to someone infected with the viral or bacterial form of conjunctivitis. The person who have conjunctivitis, if, if the healthy person is uh, exposing, there is a chances to get. Frequently use of contact lenses, microbial infection. These are the risk factors. Risk factors means there is a more chances to get. That is the risk factor. Pathophysiology. Microbes enter the eye on contact with infected objects. It leads to inflammation of the eye. It leads to dilatation of the blood vessels of eye. Then you can see the symptoms of swelling, redness, exudates and discharge. Signs and symptoms. Pink or red eye, tenderness, pain in the eye, itching, watery or thick discharges, photophobia that is sensitivity to light, drooping of upper eyelid, fever, swelling of the eyelid, assessment and diagnostic finding, history collection. In history collection, you has to ask the person regarding if they are exposed to any chemicals, are exposed to any allergics, are exposing to any, uh, any smoke or something like which they are allergic, that you have to ask in history collection. In physical examination, you can see the eye is in red color. Then diagnostic finding, vision test, culture of secretions, conjunctival incisional biopsy. Treatment. Treatment depends upon the cause. Bacterial conjunctivitis means the treatment is antibiotic eye drops, ointment, topical antibiotics, fluoroquinone, sodium, sulfactamide or trimethoprim for 7 to 10 days. If viral conjunctivitis means apply warm compress to relieve pain. Allergic conjunctivitis means antihistamines such as steroid and anti-inflammatory drops to reduce the inflammation. Loratadine and diphenhydramine we can give in case of allergic chemical conjunctivitis. In that cases, rinse eye with saline, apply topical steroids. Lifestyle and home remedies, apply warm compress to the eye 
use eye drops stop wearing contact lenses advise to use sunglasses reduce exposing to light avoid rubbing the eye clean the eye using sterile cloth or wipes these are the lifestyle and home remedies to be followed by the persons who attack with the conjunctivitis prevention how we can prevent this conjunctivitis avoid touching the eyes with unwashed hands wash hands often and thoroughly with soap and water use only clean tissue and towel to wipe face and eyes don't share cosmetics especially eyeliner or mascara with others wash pillow cases frequently these are the preventive measures we has to follow nursing management in the nursing diagnosis disturbed sensory perception that is visual related to eye inflammation as evidenced by verbal complaint of difficulty of seeing properly itching irritation for the nursing interventions assess the vision ability of the patient using an eye chart that is nylon chart encourage the patient to do follow up checkups administer medications as prescribed risk for infection injury related to viral problems or disease condition interventions are assess the patient degree of visual impairment promote adequate lighting in the patient room advise the patient to wear sunglasses acute pain related to inflammation of the conjunctiva as evidenced by verbal complaints of soreness in the eye blurry vision itching interventions assess the patient level of eye pain promote effective eye hygiene administer medications as prescribed inform the patient about alternative pain management approaches such as breathing exercise relaxation techniques encourage the patient to wear sunglasses deficient knowledge related to lack of information about the disease condition as evidenced by incorrect information incorrect directions being followed this is the diagnosis nursing interventions assess the patient's prior knowledge of the disease condition make the patient as comfortable as possible improve the patient literacy abilities through instruction give the patient time to practice new abilities determine the patient's understanding of medical terms risk for ineffective therapeutic regimen related to visual problem secondary to conjunctivitis intervention analyze the patient's prior efforts to adhere to a regimen evaluate each patient's personal perception of their health provide a concise description of the treatment plan thank you thank you for spending your valuable times Please subscribe me.